안녕하세요 여러분, 선현우입니다. Hi, I'm Hyunwoo from TalkToMeInKorean.com. I've been invited by the Korean Embassy in Singapore to give a talk at the National University of Singapore on the topic of Korean culture and learning Korean, and I was actually just there last week. And one of the questions that I received during the Q&A session toward the end of my talk was how to motivate yourself to continue learning Korean. And I gave my answer there, but to share that answer with you guys through this video, I don't think this only applies to learning Korean, but also to just, you know, any language in general uh, that you want to learn. And my answer was to try a new experience. And of course, many of you might have already tried various methods for learning Korean, but a lot of people, a surprising number of people, actually find one method and try to stick to it and feel frustrated at some point and give up and they feel like they're not finding meaningful progress. So my suggestion is try something new that you haven't tried before or something that you tried before but a long time ago, try it again. So for example, if you've only been studying with websites and apps, maybe it's time for you to pick up a book. Or if you've only been studying the traditional route using textbooks that you can find at local bookstores, maybe it's time for you to try learning from a YouTube channel or through an app, a flashcards app or something like that, or even by watching a lot of Korean dramas or movies. Anything that is a new experience for you will be beneficial. Well, it might not be necessarily helpful in learning new vocabulary words faster or it might not help you understand a grammar point more effectively but since it's a new experience you might be able to find new aspects that you didn't see before and to everybody who was in the audience last wednesday at the national university of singapore thank you for coming out to the venue and i believe your decision to actually take some time out of your schedule, your usual schedule to attend the talk was beneficial because it was something unusual, something out of the ordinary, something different, something new. You might have seen other fellow Korean learners and felt some motivation and you also interacted with other people and with me, asked questions and got some answers and I believe that kind of new experience can fuel your learning desire further. And let's say the majority of you who were in the audience actually spent about two to three hours to attend the talk. You could have spent those three hours actually doing your regular study session, but I believe that new experience was more beneficial than another session of regular studying. So thank you once again to everybody at the Korean Embassy in Singapore for organizing this event as part of your public diplomacy effort and to everybody who actually came to attend the talk. And to everybody else, try something new. If you have, let's say, 10 different Korean friends that you can talk to regularly but you feel like you're still stuck in a rut, maybe it's time for you to make your 11th Korean friend, the 12th Korean friend, just something different out of the ordinary that will further fuel you toward your goals, okay? So thank you for watching. Thank you for studying with Talk To Me In Korean. We will also continue working hard to bring you quality materials and also motivation that you need for Korean learning. And I will see you next time. 감사합니다. Bye-bye.